here I'd like to demonstrate the, the finer points of very pump-fed filters. This is the smallest one, the compact filter. But in truth, all the pump-fed Eric filters, right to the big E4, operate in exactly the same way. Now, this shows the filter in normal running operation. You'll see that the water level here is touching the top of the cartridge block. And that's because it's governed by the outlet here, which is adjustable. Now, water is coming in from the pump here at the rate of 350 gallons per hour. And the pump is 550 gallons total. The water enters at this point here and exits at another battle exactly at the same point. So water is travelling through the unit horizontally. As I say, this end box simply controls the return water, which can easily be measured by the bucket and stopwatch test. This shows the 350 gallons an hour going through the filter. Now, although this unit doesn't need to be discharged, I'll show you what happens when we do discharge the unit. And it's all to do with a small output valve down here, which is probably out of the picture. What I'm going to do right now is open slightly this valve and you should see quite quickly the water level start to drop and no return water will be coming back into the pond so I'll try that now Returning to the pond, so we don't have any horizontal flow now. And the level's just been kept alive, I'll, I'll increase it slightly, by the pump coming into the building because I've not turned that off. So, what I'm going to do now is gently. Brush the front of the brush box. The water level is still going down, so the dirt is also going down into the catchment box below. Once again, there's no flow going through the filter. Now, when it gets to a certain level, I'm going to open the valve and give a real good purge. There, that's open faster. Slightly raise the push box and open it to full ball.
purge effect from the weight of water behind does an incredible job of ensuring that no debris stays within the filter. It's an extremely simple system. 